Family members here in South Burlington are extremely worried. They say this is not a man that would just take off without telling anybody where he might be going. They're asking investigators here and abroad to treat this case with greater urgency. It's a very dire situation right now. Sandra LaFrance hasn't heard from her brother in six weeks. Um, and that says it right there, that face right there. <laughs> She describes him as a fun-loving social man that talks frequently with his family back in Vermont, making Thomas Cook's disappearance all the more troubling. That's why we noticed something wasn't right, because he hadn't gotten in touch with any of us. The 62-year-old is a Vermont native and former electrician. He grew up in the same South Burlington home we sat down with his family in. After retiring this summer, he moved to Costa Rica and had been living in a rental home. On August 23rd, that home was found completely empty and nobody has seen him since. The local authorities in Costa Rica as well as the U.S. Embassy are investigating. However, there's no concrete proof or evidence um, that there's foul play. And so they're treating it as a missing persons case. So it means that things are moving a lot slower. The family has reached out to Vermont senators, the State Department, and congressional leaders. It's been constant. Hoping the case gets the attention they believe it deserves. If they know that the community is concerned about this and that the community is paying attention, our hope is that involvement continues. From thousands of miles away, Thomas Cook's loved ones are trying to stay optimistic. That we learn of his whereabouts. Um, my biggest fear is that we never will learn, and that's very scary. As this investigation continues, those closest to Cook tell me they're extremely thankful for the outpouring of support from the community. They say it's truly a testament to how loved Cook is. Live in South Burlington, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.